Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Wednesday afternoon, 12.40 in the afternoon. I totally forgot that I would put uh, the Cook and Review to launch at 9. Uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted it to launch at 9 or 12, but uh, yeah, I should have watched it one more time because I totally forgot to take out one of the titles going from the cooking to the reviewing part and I left the quesadilla, the chicken and steak quesadilla title up. But that's how happens when you're putting out content every single day. You screw up once in a while. Uh, and then I had lunch, I just had two eggs. I haven't uh, worked out in a few days, so uh, we need to go and do that. Uh, but I was waiting to find out, because Paul said he's gonna get off work early today, but I think his plans changed. So he, uh, He's not getting off work early, so it is almost one o'clock. I think if I go down to Bradford workout, have to go to the bank to deposit another check, and uh, then I'll come back here, shower, shave, just the head, and uh, then we will. Hopefully by then he'll text me and tell me what time he's going to be home. He just doesn't know because he's got to like pick up produce and stuff for the thing, the tickle toad. But that's the black pasta that I think we should do. But I told Paul, because he's like, what do you want to do today? And I said, well, I've got these noodles that I'd love to use in something. So I'll bring those. And if he can think of something weird concoction to put on top of it and uh, make a really cool video of something weird and disgusting, then we'll do it. Anyway, so I'm going to go work out and then I'll come back. I just, I just didn't want to go to Bradford, come back up here and then go back down that way again. That was my dilemma today. <sighs> All right, I kind of figured out what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to zip up to the post office, uh, check my post office box. From there, I'm going to go down to Bradford. Uh, but before I get to Bradford, I, I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to take to the dump. So it's just been using up space in our garage. So I'm going to take that to the dump, uh, then go work out. After I work out, I'll shower, shave, get all ready, and then zip down to Paul's house, and I uh, will shoot another cook and review just for you. Let's go. Let's check the post office box. Big lineup. Wow. to the dump. Well, miscalculated today, it's backed out to the road. That's not good. Oh, there seems to be some gaps in the lineup, so maybe that's a good thing. That truck doesn't want to move forward for some reason. It's probably texting. So we'll dump this crap off. It'll probably cost us hopefully five bucks. I think there's a minimum charge of five dollars. And uh, yeah, we'll just dump it in the regular. Oh, look at the lineup. Don't like it. We're up next. Sweet. So I have an old bread maker. And uh, so I gotta get rid of that first. Drop that off. Now I gotta take the wood, put it into the wood section. There's way the hell over here. Cause that's like uh, tree wood and this is like appliance wood. I'm always afraid I'm gonna get a flat tire in here. Got rid of all those uh, wooden shelves. Now I gotta uh, get rid of all the styrofoam and plastic. Of course, everybody wants this spot right here. She wants that spot. We'll have to go around. We'll just have to walk some stuff in, that's all. She's leaving, cool. like getting purging yourself of crap. Oh, I'm glad the styrofoam didn't break a part of my car too much. Broke a little bit. 
Didn't leave too much of a mess, which is good. This is all the shovels and rakes. Don't bring stuff home. <laughs> There's a couple dumps up north. They say no picking. That's funny. They don't want you swapping garbage. So in other words, if you bring in 50 pounds of garbage and you take out 50 pounds of garbage that you like, then they don't make any money. So you're not allowed to pick, only allowed to dump. That's why it's called a dump. Yeah, I only got charged five bucks for all that stuff. It's nice to purge, people. It's nice to purge. Now, it's gonna be nice to work out. No, we're gonna go to the bank first. Bankies. to the bank deposit my check another lineup what the hell <laughs> unbelievable day so all it took was the fact that they had three tellers on and then three people came into the bank and that's all it took was three people with bank related issues complications and then a bunch of people coming in all at the same time. And then there was one guy who, older gentleman, he'd only been waiting like a minute. I've been in there for at least 20 minutes. At least 20 minutes. What, what's the time? What's the time? Yeah, I went in there at two o'clock. It is 20 after. So I've been waiting there as patiently as I can without causing too much of a problem. This old guy comes in. Is there any problem? <laughs> he's just so angry and he's just like, because there's like six spots for six tellers, but of course there's only three tellers, but then there's management and that's what his complaint was, that the management isn't coming out and helping alleviate this problem of people in line. And, uh, but he'd only been waiting a minute. And I said that to the people that were in front of me and behind me, I'm like, and he's been only been, and he's only been waiting a minute. We've been in there for like 18 minutes, being patient and cool and calm, collective. And this guy, all it took was him. He's like infuriated the fact that he was at the end of the line. He's only been waiting a minute and it hasn't moved at all in a minute. Wow. And I know, and I have been to downtown banks with huge lineups. And, uh, you know, up here in the country, usually you walk in, maybe two people ahead of you, maybe. And they're like in and out, done, and you're like, you wait for probably less than 30 seconds every time. You, that is the worst I've ever been in. And of course, today is a lineup day, and you don't want to piss off the old people. <laughs> Ken Rage, not that I'm the old guy, the other old guy. Can't wait one minute. Made it to the leisure center. Hopefully there's no lineup. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Don't leave the house on Wednesdays, Chuck. Today, started off with <clears throat> five laps walking and then proceeded to up my laps for jogging. For those of you who wonder why I don't jog, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do for me. So, so I did five laps jogging. Now it's gonna do like four laps to cool down. And we'll proceed to skipping and all that stuff. Just finished a 46 minute bike ride, burned 500 calories. I think that's pretty accurate. I went pretty hard. I was doing 90 to 100 RPMs. I put the difficulty level up to eight for most of the ride and then bumped it down to six and then two at the last minute just to spin my legs out a bit. 
just as I was leaving, I heard a kid who was playing basketball. Hi, Ken Domic. <laughs> that was cool. Well done the workout. Very, very thorough workout. I'm going for aerobic type exercises. I just want to burn lots of calories, stop drinking pop, and only have beer on the weekends. There's a whole bunch of things. And I, and I try also, I, I'm not sure if you guys notice, sometimes <clears throat> I will uh, try to, you know, just eat the sandwich, whatever the sandwich of that restaurant is. And uh, don't get the fries, don't get the drink. You know, not, don't do the whole combo, because the whole combo is sometimes 2,000 calories. And that's 500 calories more than you should eat in a day, basically. I think I, think I should, to maintain the weight that I am, I think I should be um, eating like 1,700 calories, I think. It's been a while since I've like looked into that. You, a bunch of you guys probably know, right? Um, and then of course the salt intake and all that stuff. So, so I just like to tell you guys once in a while what I'm up to and hopefully you guys can help me and hopefully what I say inspires you. And hopefully in the comment section below, some of you guys who are educated in the health and fitness part of this world can help other people who are watching the vlog and might be struggling with weight loss or whatever. So I look forward, I always look forward to, the radio's gonna come on. I always look forward to your comments, uh, especially when I ask questions like that. Uh, and as you guys know, I read all the comments. Made it to Paul's, everything's good. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? Yeah? Paul's cutting up his wiener. I'm cutting my wiener. Is that the super hot spicy stuff? This one, no. We should try it and make sure. Mm. It's not, it's got a mild kick, but. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm. Chorizo? Yeah. I said it right. Bonus. You say chorizo or chorizo? Yeah, I said chorizo, it's chorizo, right? Yeah. Paul got this huge package for one slice of bacon. Oh, is that beautiful? That is awful. There's more in the back. Don't worry, people. We got just a few jalapenos. I wonder if I can get one of these, like a smile. Smile? Is that good? Thumbnail? Smile, you're on candid camera. So, Paul has, still hasn't divulged what we're doing tonight. Can I? No. Are you sure? I, I just said, I'm bringing black noodles, which I brought. I just want to make sure you guys know I brought them. So the black noodles are there, and then I brought them in. He's like, nope, we're not doing that. I'm like, okay. Uh, my name is no. My sign is no. You got to let it go. So what, what are you making then? Secret. See, oh, he still won't tell me. What? Mm, oh my gosh. You should be a bacon cutter professionally. I know. It's all I can good for in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to give you a little teaser for next week. What? <laughs> you gotta keep this guy on special drugs to keep him awake. <gasps> That's one of the ones we don't use to keep him awake. I thought this was like a Don Cherry beer when I first looked at it. It looks like a Don Cherry beer, doesn't it? It's the dinner jacket. It's a, <laughs> the dinner jacket. You have one just like it. Do I? All Canadians do. That's right. <laughs> it's our pajamas. So we're doing the uh, chili in a bread bowl, but ours are specially done and, and they're in there right now. I won't show you them. That'll be like a, a surprise for you next week. But here's all the, the ingredients that Paul used. Bacon. Ooh, can't wait Bacon. to eat that. Jalapeno, man. Jalapeno. <sighs> I'm not doing so good. I bit a half a jalapeno. It's really, really hot. All the best footage is on there, though. You have to wait till Wednesday to see it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so bite, biting the tip. And some some things I've learned about with uh, peppers today, especially jalapenos. So the tip is. 
when you bite into it, it tastes like a green pepper, not a lot of hot or spiciness, anything. And then it slowly starts to build a bit of a peppery, spicy hot. And then you bite the half of the pepper, and Paul says it actually gets hotter as you get closer and closer to this end. All the, all the seeds and everything. So, that is the first time I've eaten a raw jalapeno and bit it in half like that, and I ate the seeds. And that's where another, that's where all the heat is in the seeds too. Oh, Paul. Woo! I keep burping. Oh, I'm in pain. I got the hot burps right now. It's starting to subside, so we're gonna finish off the shoot. Paul wanted to get the rest of the food in the, fr in the fridge, in the oven, as fast as possible to get the kids fed. 